Never Stop Learning Week 337. We're going to take a quick look at how to apply a stroke onto a picture in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. All right, so this isn't a new feature. You've actually been able to do this for a really long time. Now, I needed to do it this week, so I figured I'd share with you guys the process. All right, so I've got an image here, and I'd like to apply a stroke to the edge here. Once I select it over here in the appearance panel on the right, it shows that I have an image selected. Here's the image pixels and down at the bottom, this is the master opacity for the selected object. All right, over here on the bottom left, down at the bottom of the tools panel, you'll see that I have the stroke activated. Currently it shows that I have no stroke applied. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and bring up my uh, swatches panel and try to change the stroke color. So let's go with magenta and nothing happens. I'll go with a different color and I get nothing. Down over here on the bottom left, the colors don't even load. All right, so let's go back into the appearance panel. All right, so what you wanna do is bring in a new stroke. All right, so it brings in a stroke and it brings it at the top of the stack. And that's really important. You wanna make sure you know uh, what you're doing here with the stacking order. All right, so we got the stroke here. So currently it's set to one point, so I'm gonna switch this up to 10 points. All right, so I've got this black stroke set to 10 points, but over here on the image, it's not showing up. All right, so when I first saw this, I just thought you couldn't apply a stroke to an image because it's pixel based and we're working with vectors here. So instead of having to create another shape, I'm gonna use one of the effects to bring in that stroke. All right, so with the stroke targeted, you can tell it's targeted because it has this blue highlight around it. All right, down over here at the bottom, I'm gonna click on effects, choose convert to shape, and go with rectangle. All right, over here we have the shape options. In this options section, I'm gonna leave size set to relative. That way if I change the size of this image, uh, the stroke will come along with it. All right, let's go with extra width. Remember, I have my uh, preview turned down over here at the bottom, so you wanna make sure yours is turned on too. All right, so it's showing us that we have the stroke, a little bit of a gap, and then the image. So let's get rid of some of this extra width here. All right, I'll back off on that. Let's see, five pixels seems to look pretty good. I'll hit tab, five, tab. All right, so that's gonna leave us with an extra width of five pixels and extra height of five pixels. All right, I'm gonna come over here to the bottom, click OK, and now we've applied this live effect and we're able to see the stroke onto our image. All right, so let's change the stroke up a little bit. I'm gonna go with a magenta stroke and I'm gonna change it from 10 points over to, let's say 20. All right, so now we have a nice large stroke there. But let's take this even further. What if you wanted to apply multiple strokes? All right, so back over here in the appearance panel. With this stroke, notice we have our rectangle effect. All right, so I want one that has that exact same effect. So let's just make a copy of the stroke. I'm gonna click, drag, bring it down here, and then make a copy. All right, the one on the bottom, I'm gonna change this up. I'm gonna go with 40 points, all right? Now the one on the top, let's change the color. I'll go with yellow. And let's take a look at what we have. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right, so right here I've got the image, the magenta stroke, yellow stroke, and there's the rest of the magenta stroke again. All right, so what's actually happening here is the uh, stacking order is coming into play. So let's come over here to the appearance panel. The image pixels are at the bottom of the stack. So what I'm gonna do is click and drag, bring them over here all the way to the top, then release. All right, so now let's see what we have. We have the image, the yellow stroke, and then the magenta stroke. All right, so I just wanted to show you how the stacking order could really have an effect on how these strokes are gonna work. So there you have it folks, it's a quick look at how to apply a stroke onto a picture. In Adobe Illustrator CC, 2018.